Although food cannot be consumed in certain areas of the game, such as the Spiral Abyss, food is still an important aspect of Genshin, and not just for beginners. In fact, food can be important to help you refresh that last bit of stamina when swimming or climbing, and more importantly, food buffs for a damage showcase. To break it down, food is mainly beneficial for four functions, healing, revival, stamina refresh, and character buffs. But which is the best food for these functions? While the main focus on today's video will be for the character buffs, let me also share more about the best food for each of the various functions, then explain how you can do a high damage showcase at the end. To quantify as the best food, they will need to be good at their function, have ingredients that are easy to collect and easy to cook. Firstly, for healing. I have two contenders for this that shares the exact same benefits, Matsutake Meat Rolls and Sweet Madame. Both also heal the same amount of health and requires two very easily obtainable ingredients, either through farming or expeditions. Just look at how many of these ingredients that I have. Secondly, for revival after your character has fainted, I will go for the easiest food that only requires one ingredient, the Tavert Fried Egg. Although you don't get much health back after revival, that's not really the point anyway. The purpose of the egg is just to revive your character and after that, consume the healing food items to get them back up to full health a lot faster. So, just go for the easiest one to cook. Thirdly, for stamina, the best food I would go for is the 5 pickled treasures that restores up to 100 stamina for the delicious variant and only requires easily farmable ingredients. Stamina food is particularly useful for exploration, especially when you're swimming or climbing and just need that final bit of stamina to reach your final destination. Fourth, which is the one everyone is waiting for, the food buffs can be broken down into various categories. Crit rate and crit damage buff, attack buff, defense buff, HP buff, and elemental damage buffs. Do note that similar buffs are not stackable, meaning you will want the best food for each category to receive the highest buffs possible. For the crit rate and crit damage buff, I have four options. Once Upon a Time in Mondstadt, No Tomorrow, Cubic Tricks, and Consomme Puret. They all do the same thing, which increases your team's crit rate and crit damage by 20%. Unfortunately, these are the only food in the game that provide the crit damage buff and are the signature food for Diluc, TT, Lini, and Nuvalet respectively. The easiest food they will go for is Once Upon a Time in Mondstadt and No Tomorrow as you are more than likely to have gotten the look and TT from the standard banner. For the attack buff, the best dish is the only 5 star one in the game, the Adapter's Temptation. Although it does require quite a lot of ingredients to get it, it provides the highest increase to attack and also provides extra crit rate as well. If you are looking for a cheaper option that requires easier ingredients, the Jade Parcels can prove to be helpful as well, although providing a slightly lower attack buff and crit rate. Do note that the crit rate and crit damage buff and attack buffs are considered the same type of food and hence are not stackable. Just look at this example. Furina starts out at 1216 attack, 61% crit rate and 229% crit damage. Then, I consume the attack buffing food first followed by the crit damage food. By right, both should increase. However, as you can see, Furina's attack did not increase, but the crit rate and crit damage did. This means that the food consumed later overrides the first attack food consumed, and hence, this proves that they do not stack. Next, for the defense buff, the best dish that provides the highest defense and has ingredients all obtainable in the wild or purchasable is the Haggis, whose recipe is obtainable from the Fortress of Meropede.
Next, for the HP buff, the best dish is either Sakura String Crackers or the La Lettre of Fossilos. These are currently the only few dishes that buffs HP. The Sakura Stream Crackers has ingredients that are mostly easy to obtain, but the main problem is that it also uses the Sakura Bloom, which is also a character essential materials for characters such as Ayaka. As such, you may want to go for the Fossil Loss Cake instead, so that you will not waste your Sakura Blooms. What's more, if you have Furina, and you try to cook this dish with her, she will be able to produce a signature dish that has the highest HP boosting food in the game, and so, I would say that it is worth it. Last but not least, for the elemental damage buff, it is not exactly through food, but from crafting potions at a crafting table. Each can increase your team's specific elemental damage by 25%, so it is definitely worth it to craft. Now, let's look at how to perform these damage showcases. Of course, I can go on all day explaining what type of team comms you can build, but that is for another video. Instead, we'll be covering which food to consume for the various different aspect scaling characters to get the most damage possible. For attack scaling characters, you will likely go for one Adeptus Temptation and one Elemental Potion to do the trick. For HP and defense scaling characters, I would recommend one crit rate and crit damage food, the Haggis or Fossilor Cake for defense and HP buff respectively, and the elemental damage potion. <laughs> With that, we've come to the end of today's video. Did you agree with my picks? Do let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, do consider leaving a like, comment and subscribing as it will really help the channel to reach our next goal of 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much in advance! If you'd like to see which standard banner character is the most worth to build, please click the video on the right. If you would like to see my other Genshin Impact videos, please click the playlist on the left. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!